Okay, so throughout history, there have been lots of books that have just caused a bunch of controversy or trouble, basically. And these books normally argue for or against some kind of god. But there's one book throughout history that has got nothing to do with any god, but has been dragged into the middle of debates between faith and science for over 150 years. And you've heard of it, you just might not know it by its name. It's called On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection. But most people think of it as the theory of evolution which is mostly true, but it specifically talks about one aspect of that theory, natural selection. And it was written by a man called Charles Darwin. Darwin grew up as a Christian, but his scientific discoveries and some pretty horrible life experiences made him question his faith. Now, even though his book wasn't written to directly disprove his God, he knew that it would cause a massive problem because at the time, a lot of Christians believed that the earth was only a few thousand years old and that animals were made as they were by God. But Darwin had evidence that animals change or species change over time, and this had been happening for millions of years. Surprisingly though, it does seem that Darwin's biggest worry at the time wasn't just the backlash he was going to receive from religious leaders, but it was also his concern for his wife, Emma, because she deeply believed in God, and she had expressed to him throughout their marriage that she was worried that his studies would take him away from her. And there was a point in their marriage that they had to experience something that no parent wants to. Three of their children died before the age of 11. And this experience or these experiences just made the differences between Charles and Emma's faith grow wider. However, Emma, with her massive heart, knew exactly how important this book was to science and to her husband. And she just stood by and supported him and encouraged him to finish this book anyway and even would read drafts of the book and give him advice on how to improve it. So in 1859, Charles Darwin committed to writing the book, published it, and the rest was history. And now you know more about Charles Darwin.